the victory that Mr. Donald Trump achieved last week by becoming the uh, presumptive Republican nominee for the during the next upcoming presidential election. Now, unfortunately, unfortunately, we see that this man is winning despite his incendiary messages. So, the incendiary messages and the poisoning rhetoric this man has been producing. Hating women, Hispanics, Muslims, foreigners, having negative relations with China, with other countries. I really wonder how, how in the world a man like him can be the leading candidate for a prominent party, the GOP. And unfortunately, many politicians in this country being affected with, with the, the power of the common mind, they have been surrendering to this mentality and they have been accepting the candidacy of this man. But for his credit, I have to give credit where credit is due. The Speaker of the House, Paul Ryan, was outstanding in his position when he said, I'm not going to support Donald Trump even if he wins the nomination of the Republican Party. And we need to commend this man, the Speaker of the House, for taking this stand. Not succumbing to the media, to the pressure of certain lobbies and forces, rather sticking to his principles. And this is something that you need to admire. When a politician sticks to his principle, whether you agree with his principle or you don't agree, you got to admire him because that shows that this man has some principles and he is sticking to his principles. He is not that opportunistic like others who the minute they found that there is no hope for them to win, like Ben Carson, Chris Christie and others, they decided to join the club and support this man, Donald Trump, for the hope that he may give them something when he becomes a president. Unfortunately, there are many politicians who are willing to be sell out, to step over their claimed principles for their personal interest. And there are many of them, not only in America, let's be fair, not only in America, everywhere in this world, everywhere and every time, not only now, during the time of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Imam Hussein, people joined Yazid, many people joined Yazid, and they let Imam Hussein down because of their personal interest. The murderer of Imam Hussein Alayhi Salam, he kills Imam Hussein, and he asks Yazid for a reward. He says, Give me money. I have killed a man who is the most honorable one on earth. He admits that he killed Imam Hussein, the most honorable man, for money. Give me money. Money, interest, ego. Selfishness have been the driving force, my dear brothers and sisters, to many politicians around the world and throughout the history to sell their principles for personal gains, unfortunately. And this confirms statement by 
Imam Hussein alayhi salam, in which he says, Al-Nas Abidu al-Dunya Wa-Dinu la'iqun ala al-Sinatihim Yahutunahu ma darrat ma'ayishuhum fa'idha muhsu bil-bala' qalla al-dayyanu Imam Hussein says, most people use religion as a chewing gum. They use it as long as it feeds their interest. But when they diverge their interest and their religion, they stick to their interest and they sacrifice their religion. This is what we have seen throughout the history, my dear brothers and sisters.